morning, it's bad, little planet crochet. This morning, I'm going to show you tips and tricks how to make Kevin the Carrot from Aldi's. Before I go any further, it, this video is not sponsored in any way. I purchased the kit myself. Also, I cannot give you a written pattern or I cannot um, show you how to make Kevin start to finish. Copyright forbids me to do so. I've done his arms slightly different, as you can see. They look a bit stiff. Now, I've just said that, but you might not realise that might just be the pattern, but it's not. There's pipe cleaners in there. I thought it'd just give him a bit more character. Also, the pattern calls for uh, embroidery eyes. I've done uh, safety eyes. The embroidery, you just do yourself, the little eye expressions and the mouth. I haven't finished him yet, he's got a little ways to go, but I'm going to start with how the pattern actually starts. And it's asking you to make a magic circle. Now, if you're new to crochet, what is being said is gobbledygook. I have got other videos of basic stitches and how to start. I'll, I'll leave links below for that. But for now, I'll show you how to do a magic circle. I'm right handed. You want your tail in your hand, hold it with your thumb, your yarn around two fingers, turn them over, hold. Take your hook. I'm not going to use the kitchen hook I tried yesterday. I can't do it. I can't use it. So I'm using the ones I like to use and I do use. It's my personal opinion. These are clover. Again, I'll leave a link below. Underneath the first strand, grab the yarn you've just wrapped around your fingers. You've got a loop. Pull through. And there's your loop on your hook. And you've made a magic circle. I tried different ways, watched other videos. I have a video on the magic circle, on the way I've just showed you how to do it. It took me an age to master it. But once I'd mastered it, I don't do anything else. I just, for, for rounds, we're working in the round. So we start at the top of Kevin, go out a little ways, and then we drop down, and then we decrease. So I'll just show you how to do certain stitches. Into the magic circle, it's asking you to do a double crochet. This is UK terminology. And to do a double crochet, that's it. Into Hook into your magic circle, bring the yarn through. You've got two loops, yarn over, pull through. I can't see because of the camera. In. You do that until you've got all the stitches the pattern asks for. And this is the first round. Pull the tail from the beginning gently. Just to close up a little bit, not too much. You don't want it too tight. Round one complete. You will now need, and from now on, a stitch marker. The kit doesn't supply one. You can buy them maybe at a local shop if you're in the UK or definitely on the internet. Or if you have in your house a safety pin. Same principle, just be careful because it'll be quite sharp and don't try not to catch a yarn. Now, I see some crocheters put the stitch marker in the last stitch of a round. I've always done the first stitch. I don't know why. Either way, it remembers, sorry, either way, it reminds you where you start and finish. So do one or the other, either your first stitch or your last stitch. It doesn't matter which, but I'm doing the first. We're not going to join. If you were to join, you would put your hook 
in the top of the first stitch and pull your yarn called a slip stitch through both and you've still got the loop on the hook but we're not doing that the first stitch of each round will go in the first stitch of the previous round so you're working going round and round and then Kevin grows downwards the next round is an increase round put your first double crochet this is UK terminology in the first one and then take your um, stitch marker whoops a daisy pop it in the first stitch there you go and do that every round increase is the same stitch in the same stitch so you've doubled the stitch count at the end of this round now because this yarn isn't top quality I keep catching the, th the thread of it it's like, it's like little bits coming off it and I keep catching it and it only takes a tiny hair width and it catches there you go round two done Take your stitch marker out and the next round is increasing but not all the time. The first stitch you pop in the first stitch from the last round and you don't forget oops a daisy your stitch marker. And then you've got that increase again. So it's two double crochet in one stitch. And on the pattern, it's in brackets. What you have to do. And it tells you how many times to do it. And then the stitch count at the end. I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you back here. There's round three done. Your stitch marker, if you're doing the same as me, is in the first one, first stitch. And slowly, to increase Kevin at the top before you go, it goes down, you have to do so many stitches singularly and then an increase. So remember your increase. is one oops two it's a little cramped but remember don't forget to put your stitch marker in the first stitch I'll do the rest off camera and I'll come back there you go round five finished that's the last of the increase rounds from now on so many rounds will be just one double crochet in each stitch and then when I've done that I will come back and I'll show you how to decrease also you know when you're doing a pattern so when you're following this pattern and I'm, as a crochet it's worked out as you can see by Kevin on my left it's very well written but you obviously got to understand how patterns are written. So if you're new, this is a brand new thing you've been given, a gift. You'll it, To you, it'll still look, you won't understand it. But to remember where you are in the pattern. So let's say this is a written pattern. Every time you've finished a round, I have a pencil usually, because then I can rub out. I don't usually, I try not to use pen. Use pencil. 
and I tick the round when I've done. So after every round, tick. Because at first, you'll not realise what round you've done. If you just put it down and walk away and come back, what round did I finish? So always do a tick after you've finished a round. Also, when you see the pattern, it's just lines and lines of letters and numbers. I either use a ruler, what I've done, cover up, or do it the other way. But I find if I cover the top up, I find that easier. And then, because obviously I've done that one, I've put a tick, but I also, and I have done that while I've been doing this Kevin off camera. And I've been doing crochet since 2015. So I still do that. But I use pencil because then I can rub it out. You know, if you're on a pattern, you can rub it out as opposed to a pen, it's permanently there. So that's just another tip. I'll do this off camera and then I'll show you what the decrease is like. One thing I have noticed while I'm using this yarn and this three millimeter hook is it's curling up like it looks like a little dish. I don't remember it doing that with this, but I did use a three and a half millimeter hook. All you need to do is turn it that way around. Now you may ask why have I put the stitch marker there and not in the top of the stitch. And that's because I'm used to seeing crochet in different stitches. This is a double crochet. I'm used to seeing the stitch. This is the right side facing. That's the inside facing. See the difference? I'm only saying this if you're new to crochet. If you're a crocheter, you can skip this bit. And I know that's the first stitch of whatever round that is. And because the, we're not joining, your stitches kind of go off at an angle. The first stitch that is. So I know that's the first stitch of whatever round number that is. The one above is the first, 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 first. So that's the last. I've just done that round. I haven't finished yet. And that's the first one there. Because I personally, it's annoying when it's in the top of the stitch. I don't know if any of the crochets are the same. So what I do, I do so many rows up, maybe 10. And I'll put the, I'll move it up or I'll get another marker. But if you're new to crochet, Put it in the top of your first stitch and then you'll not you'll not get lost i'll carry on there you go kevin's taking shape top of his head just finished the last 12th round and that's why you get that you, um dome effect you increase if you're doing if you want to go down, you do the same amount of stitches. Just keep going round and round and round and round. Now we're going to decrease. Don't forget to put your stitch marker back in your first stitch. Now to decrease, you know how you put two stitches in one? Well, you need to put two stitches to make one over two stitches. And how you do it, so you do the same stitch and you stop when you've got two loops. Go into the next stitch. Grab your yarn, three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. Another decrease. You want two stitches. Start making a double crochet. Pull up, 
go into the next stitch, pull up three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through and that's your decrease. You've made two stitches into one. Now on the pattern, as with the increase, it's in brackets. So anything in brackets, it is separated by a comma. I'll write up the top and you'll see. And it's in a bracket and then it'll tell you how many times to do that. Or if it doesn't give you times such and such, you just do what's in the bracket. And at the end of every row of instructions, there is the number count. So always count if you're unsure. If you're not, you'll know by the time you get to the end, if your stitch count from the previous row is off, you will know by the end of the round because your stitches won't ma match up. But in doubt, always count. I'll do a little bit more off camera and then I'll show you how I've been doing this pipe cleaner arm. It's quite easy to do. It's a different stitch though. So we'll do a, we're doing a different stitch for that. We're still doing the magic circle. Double crochet. Making chains. That might be something new that you've not done. And then this is a different stitch. It's called the half treble crochet. So it's a taller stitch. This double crochet, as you can see, is a short stitch it's quite dense it's used for toys because the stuffing doesn't poke through if you did this half treble with stuffing it will poke through there's a pipe cleaner in there but you it will poke through the arms on the photograph though they look skinny i thought they were just chains with slip stitches but they're not. So the photograph isn't as I expected it to look. We've got this magic circle with double crochet in them. And then you've got this half treble crochet. Hmm. And I've done it to the pattern. That is the right amount of stitches. So his arms are a bit longer. But I just thought it would just give him a bit more character, you know, if you you can bend his arms like that. I might keep the legs straight. <sighs> anyway, I might not. And I'll show you how to do the magic circle again. Tail over your hand, catch your thumb, round, turn your hand over. Take your hook, go under the first strand, grab the second, pull it through. You kind of do a twist motion. And then the second yarn goes through the loop. And there you go. There's your magic circle. Now, when a pattern says SS, there is abbreviation on this. I can show you that. Hold on. Right, the abbreviation is on the back. That's why I say this pattern's really good. Can you see down here? Oh, it's different on here. I see a lot of patterns with just SS, so slip stitch. But this one's put extra letters on. So to slip stitch, like I said before, if you were going to join in the round, more fingers and thumbs, first stitch, put your hook through, grab your yarn, pull through that stitch and then pull through the loop on your hook and that's joined together. So 
do that again. To slip stitch, hook through your top of your stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through the top of the stitch and through that loop, your new loop. Now to chain, yarn over your hook, pull through, yarn over your hook, pull through. You see the way I'm holding my hook too, whether you're left or right, I presume this works. I'm right-handed. Now I hold my hook majority of the time like a pencil. A lot of my crochet friends use it as a, like a knife. Either way is fine. You, If you're new to crochet, you work out which way is more comfortable for you. I find the pencil way. So yarn over your hook, pull through, there's your chain, yarn over your hook, pull through the loop, and you keep doing that until you've got the desired length or whatever the pattern says. I've done a few off camera. I kept splitting the yarn. You know, the hook goes through the yarn and splits it. There's your chain. And you want to go into there. Now, if you're going to the top of your stitch, it's like when you're doing your double crochet, you go into the top of there. But this is chains. You do yarn over your hook. You put your hook into one of those chains, yarn over your hook again, pull through the chain, so you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the three. Now I'm going to show you what a treble looks like and then you're going to know why I'm saying half. Yarn over, Hook into your chain, pull through, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops, stop. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's a taller stitch than the half treble crochet. So you've got the double crochet, half double crochet, treble crochet, and so on. They do get taller. Take that one out. So you see why it's half treble crochet, because it's half of the movement. Yarn over, hook into your chain, yarn over, pull through the chain, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. If you're new to crochet, let's keep splitting. Don't give up, keep going. Your hands will hurt at first. Put it down, go away, do something, come back. You can do a few hand exercises too. It does hurt at the beginning, did me. And I don't think I'm unique because you're doing something that you haven't, you've never done before. Now I personally could do these arms totally different. Similar principle, but if you wanted them skinnier, take those out. Let's do a double crochet. You could do a double crochet all the way along. Or you could slip stitch and then you'll have, as the photograph looks, skinny arms. It's up to you how you do it. But that's how you do a half double crochet. If you're unsure, stop, 
go back a little ways and watch again. <laughs> 